Hey everyone, it's Honda Nguyen. How's everyone all doing today? All right, guys. So we heard about this brand new Korean barbecue and hot pot called Sea Pot here, and they're having their soft opening here in Sacramento, California. All right, so we actually been to a Sea Pot before in the Bay Area at the Sunnyvale location. Uh, but I've actually did a video on that one as well. We had dinner there. Uh, but today, guys, I heard about this brand new place here in Sacramento. So we're going to go in here and give them a try on during lunchtime and see how it is. All right. So we're going to go inside and we're going to try it out. And then let me share with you guys as well. All right, guys, so this uh, restaurant is on the corner of Florin Road and Stockton Boulevard, okay? So it's right next to the Starbucks. I believe this restaurant used to be a Sizzler, but now it is a sea pot. So let's go inside, check it out, guys. Uh, try it out, and then at the same time, share with you guys as well. And I'd like to come uh, when they first open, so that way I can avoid the line. And also, at the same time, it's easier for me to film everything for you guys. So, uh, you know, I don't bump into people or whatnot, okay? So anyway, we got seated right away. And um, for lunchtime, guys, Monday through Friday, if you guys get the hot pot or barbecue, it's $21.99. But if you guys want to get both, it is $5 more per person, okay? And then dinner is Monday through Friday, Saturday through Sunday, and holiday all day, hot pot or barbecue, $32.99. Or if you guys want both, it is $5 more. Okay, and then they do have some kids menu as well. Or like the pricing is a little bit uh, different. All right, so here's the menu, guys. So um, pause the video if you guys want to check it out in more detail. Right, guys so they do have a bar for your sauces and salad and a little bit of uh basically appetizer uh at the end of the uh, bar section here so you guys just come get it for yourself it's self-serve and if you guys have never been to uh, a sea pot before they do have the conveyor belt where the food basically spins around the table like right here and uh, you basically just take what you want Right, guys so there are not a lot of korean barbecue or hot pot that has a conveyor belt where the food is spinning and then you just grab what you want which i think is really cool okay and then i believe there is a 90 minute time limit uh so make sure you guys eat fast okay because i think 90 minutes is not enough all right but anyways uh we're gonna try it out today guys like i said and we're gonna give you guys my own um review opinion and all that stuff toward the end of the video
All right, guys, so like I mentioned earlier, we've actually been to this sea pot before in the Bay Area, and we were there during lunchtime, and we took both the barbecue and hot pot, and we actually wanted to come back to that Sunnyvale location again just to try their lunch and just to try the hot pot, but uh, we didn't get a chance to go there yet. Uh, so the good thing is that they just opened up here in Sacramento. Uh, we were in the area because we're always up here visiting family and all that stuff. And then we heard about this restaurant, guys. Actually, I actually drove by here a couple times going to Starbucks and I actually saw it. And now they finally, finally open soft opening. So I thought today is a good time to come in here, try it out. And we're going to try the hot pot today only, guys. And let me tell you guys my honest review later on. All right, guys, and if you guys have never been to a Korean barbecue or hot pot, all you can eat. So it's like a buffet, all right, guys? So it's all you can eat as much as you can. Uh, you know, the time limit, like I mentioned, I think is 90 minutes. And if you guys did choose the hot pot, uh, step one is basically you're going to choose your soup base, okay? And then step two, you're going to go ahead and choose your meat. All right, so parties under four you get uh, three meats per round parties five or, or more you get six meats per round which i think is good because i've actually been to a lot of other korean hot pot and barbecue where the whole table can only you know pick up to three uh, meat per round which i think is not a lot because if you let's say if you have like five or six people in your group and you can only order up to three that is not enough so i think this is actually uh pretty good All right, guys, so the veto is going to be pretty, pretty long. OK, so we're just going to be sitting here eating. So right now I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my honest review of the brand new sea pot, Korean hot pot and barbecue here in the city of Sacramento. If you guys don't know where Sacramento is, is about two hours away from the Bay Area, six hours away from the L.A. area. OK, so today, guys, we came in here during lunch and we try out their hot pot. Like I mentioned, we've been to this location or this um, restaurant before at another location in the Bay Area. And we did try their uh, dinner uh, and we did try both barbecue and hot pot. But we thought that uh, this time we're gonna go ahead and try the lunch and just the hot pot because uh, trying both is actually time consuming right guys so that's my tip right there if you guys are gonna come inside here or if it's your first time you know go ahead and try both if you like uh, but after that i would just pick one like let's say either barbecue or just hot pot because if you choose both it's kind of hard to even manage to control both section you know because the last time we've been here 
uh, it was pretty hard and <laughs> we weren't even able to eat much because we got to worry about the hot pot not getting too cooked or the barbecue not getting burnt you know what i mean so now we kind of learn from uh from our experience so today we're just going to try out the hot pot and you know what guys uh it, it's actually uh pretty good all right guys so it, it is a brand new location uh the meat the food this you know basically pretty fresh you know the seafood was pretty fresh all their all their food was actually pretty fresh and pretty good and all that stuff so it's pretty good guys the only thing that i'm going to give a feedback is um basically when we first came in it took them a while okay i'm gonna say a while maybe like 30 minutes after we sat down for them to even bring out all their condiments or all their sauces okay so the whole bar was empty for a while they didn't even have any spoon to uh basically you know use it to get the, the sauces and stuff like that they keep saying that they're gonna bring it out but 30 minutes later finally they brought it out so we kind of waste 30 minutes for nothing because you can't really eat the meat or whatever without the sauces because it's gonna taste too plain right but anyways uh, i understand that they're soft opening and they're trying their best but our server was actually pretty good he was always coming back to ask us if we had any more questions or we needed more food and he always cleaned out the table so customer service i'm gonna say it's pretty excellent guys but uh, overall guys uh, like i said i'm gonna give it a solid eight out of ten okay so usually if my score is about eight or above it's a pretty good place to give it a try but hopefully you know later on when they open longer um they'll do things quicker they'll get all the food ready before opening instead of you know open already but still make people wait because that's kind of waste of waste of uh, customers time right because you only have 90 minutes to eat and all the foods are not ready so by that time your time is almost running up but other than that guys pretty good pretty good place to try so if you guys are in the area give it a try all right but once again don't take my word for it it is based on my experience uh the day i was there the time that i was there so come try it out for yourself to find out for yourself all right guys so that's it all right guys if you guys have any questions or comment leave them down below and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet consider subscribing okay it doesn't cost you any money to subscribe but it helps out the channel greatly and i really appreciate you all all right guys so the rest of the video is just me sitting here eating and all that stuff so if you guys want to watch um please watch if you guys don't want to watch just shut it off all right guys thanks for watching take care bye bye All right, guys i lied i said i wasn't gonna talk anymore but if you guys stay to the end of the video i have a full uh basically a full video of the conveyor belt that i filmed basically for like three minutes so it's gonna show you all the food on that belt okay so stay to the end of the video if you guys like